The Talon Energy Hydroelectric Plant in Holtwood, Pennsylvania first started to produce power in 1910 and had a maximum combined output of roughly 109 megawatts by 2009. That's when the plant's owners began an expansion that more than doubled the power output. As part of the expansion, the plant needed to go through a relicensing with the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. And part of the new license stipulates that Talon must upgrade the fish passage facilities that allow migratory species to swim upstream on the Susquehanna River past the Holtwood Dam for spawning. It's very important to us at Talon Energy uh, because we want to be in full compliance with our licensing requirements and be a good environmental steward for the river. That's where Chinbro comes in as the primary contractor for the installation of an Obermeyer inflatable rubber dam along the crest of the Holtwood spillway. The adjustable dam will allow the plant's operators to provide additional flow near the spillway's fish lift. The additional flow will attract the migratory species so that they will not swim to the opposite side of the dam and get trapped there where there is no fish lift. The use of this Obermeyer inflatable rubber dam includes adding water that can spill over the dam, be controlled by the operators in the control room, and provide attraction flows for these fish. This will attract the fish to come up into the fish lift, which is a fish elevator that lifts them 55 feet up and over top of our concrete dam so that they can continue upstream for their spawning season. This is something that is very important to the government agencies that are working to restore the fish habitat and migratory species to the river. The real meat of the work's going on right now with concrete work. Uh, the air piping is now done. It's a, a pneumatic gate system that we're putting in. That work, at least the guts of it, is in place and we're pouring the concrete for another couple weeks. And then we'll be installing the gates, all the systems that go with that, testing them out and then removing the cofferdam for the better part of November. The project is going very well after some delays earlier in the spring when we first got started in April. High river flows did not allow us to get out in the river as soon as we would have liked to install the temporary steel cofferdam that was necessary to protect the workers that are out on the dam. So uh, once the river flow subsided, we worked together with Shimbro to develop a recovery plan for the schedule and uh, bring in the additional resources necessary to ensure a late November completion of the project. The severe weather in the winter time here on the river, including higher river flows and ice coming down the river, makes it impossible to work out in the river during the winter season. So it's very important that we complete this project by late November, early December of this year. Our relationship with the client is excellent right now. They see us working together, they see us working as a team, they see us doing what we say we're going to do, and they see us being honest when we have issues and they've been very supportive of that. They've been very good to us here. The opportunities continue to grow and the plant manager himself commended us on our quality of workmanship, our safety record, and that it speaks to the integrity of our company and leaves us open to future opportunities at this facility. Safety is our number one priority to completing any work here on the site and it's been very good to work with Shimbro, all the different people here that are on site, including the safety people from Shimbro, to make sure that this job is done safely. We've worked very hard to have a warning system so that if river flows would come up or lake levels would increase as a result of either weather or the upstream discharge from the hydro station upstream, that we would have a very proven and efficient way of warning the workers to get off the dam in time so that the project is protected and most importantly the workers. So we do have drills that we run unannounced to make sure that the communication between the plant and the workers out on the barges and on the dam is effective and that they are evacuated off the dam if needed in a very expedient manner. Right now our biggest hazard to the project has been the uh, installation of the work platform that we got through that and got that in place. Once it's completed out there and our demolition and removal of that platform is a high risk potential for a fall. So we've got some folks high angle rescue trained with the appropriate equipment to make a retrieval if somebody were to fall off the platform as it's being removed. As always on the water, you got the water work, the barges, activity on and off the barges. If somebody does slip, trip, fall in, you've got to be prepared. And one way to do that is practice your water rescue drills and keep everybody in the loop.
Chinbro crews are also working inside the hydro station on a collection of ancillary jobs related to the actual power operation. As the deadline for completion approaches, everyone is feeling confident that the last days of November will see a good result here. This job we're on right now, the Overmeyer project, falls under the Power and Energy Group, but it, it really feels 100% infrastructure to me, which is my background, so I, I enjoy that. But we're also uh, working with a client on a number of projects inside the plant, so they're doing a lot of work in there, keeping the client happy. So there's a lot of work for this client, and we're striving to make them happy every step of the way.